This is the kind of hot uh, talk every man needs to hear. The, it sounds counterproductive and it sounds uh, against common sense. But believe me when I say it's true and those of you who have experienced it and have uh, experience having been with uh, various uh, women will uh, concur that putting a woman on a pedestal and putting her first and acting like, uh, you know, whether overtly or subconsciously, acting like she is, uh, it's, it's a privilege for you uh, to be with her and that, you know, uh, she is in a better than you, that she is in a higher league than you, will actually cause you resentment by her, uh, will actually cause you for her to have disrespect for you, and will actually cause you for her to be disgusted by you. I know it, uh, it sounds counterproductive to some, to most maybe, but believe you me, that is true. Because if you really think about it and if you reverse the tables and put yourself in that situation, if you're with a woman and she acts, behaves and speaks like uh, you are higher than her, that she doesn't deserve you, that you, know, she, you are in a different uh, league than her, uh, you would quickly lose respect and attraction towards her. You know, you want people, we naturally want people that are self-confident. We want people that are self-assured. We want people that have a natural self-respect. And we want people that genuinely, and the key operating word here is genuine. We want to deal with people that are genuinely uh, believing that they are uh, of a higher value than not not in above others but that they have something to bring to the table whether it's your male friends or your or your uh, female romantic partner we don't want people that have nothing to offer who's attracted to some guy and i always use this example because it is the most pathetic kind of human being i can think of who's interested in somebody who sits around all day and plays uh, video games and is broke you know i mean come on are you honestly attracted to someone like that so sadly uh, uh, in that same vein, the women uh, of today, the women in the Western world mostly, uh, they uh, have forgotten and ignored and deliberately are, are completely closing their eyes to the traditional uh, you know, roles that a woman should play and a man should play. And they basically want you to uh, sign that marriage contract, okay, because that's their uh, insurance policy that they're going to get uh, paid. Uh, you know, if either of you decides to leave. They want you to um, protect and provide. They want you to do all the traditional things that a man does, but they don't want to uh, offer the same um, f feminine female role, wife role, if you will, in return. Yeah, they'll reluctantly have children, but uh, that's like a favor. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put out some kids for you, you know, but you'll have to protect and provide no matter how much money I make. Uh, you have to pay me when uh, it comes divorce time, if it gets to that. Uh, you have to, uh, you know, uh, want sex only when I want it. Uh, you basically have to uh, go to places that I want to go, you know, vacation or for dinner or for a brunch, you know. Uh, whether it's uh, it's a long term, uh, you know, uh, uh, far away holiday or just uh, going out on a Sunday for a brunch. Basically, you are here to serve and please me and keep me happy. It's your job to keep me happy. But in exchange, I don't have to do anything for you. I just have to uh, produce some children and I have to, um, you know, have sex with you when I feel like it. And if that's never, that's never. Anyone who's dealt with the women of today and uh, the attitude that has evolved in the, in the, in the feminine realm uh, of a wife, girlfriend, whatever, uh, in the Western world mostly, and in some parts of the Eastern world, ha will experience and will have experienced and will know what I'm talking about. The traditional roles are out the window as far as women are concerned. They like to pick and choose the, the parts of those roles that serves them, you know, and they will completely ignore uh, like those other things that they need to do even exist. They want you to do all the work. They want you to do all the heavy lifting. Uh, they want you to be uh, serving them 
and uh, making sure of their happiness, uh, being there when they want, being absent when they don't want, you know, having the type of friends that they approve of, having the type, of, doing the type of activities that they, uh, you know, uh, approve of. If you want to go golfing, uh, you know, all day Sunday, and uh, they want to be doing something else, uh, you know, with you, uh, then the golfing is not okay. You know, if you want to go on a vacation to a certain place, but they don't want to go there, uh, it's not okay. And if they reluctantly come with you to where you want to go, they will make you pay for it in a thousand and one ways later on. And they'll remember it in every argument to use that against you. It's hell. It's hell. And I'm sorry uh, if, I'm, if I am focusing on the negative parts of, of, of the aspects of dealing with a woman in your life. But those negative parts, those negative elements are always going to be there. You cannot, you know, you cannot ignore, you know, you cannot just uh, pick and choose and hope that you can just focus on the positive parts and that you know, won't be there. In, a, in any given day, you know, let's say you're on a vacation together somewhere or, or, or just a, a typical day at home. In any given day, there will be p uh, pleasant parts and there will be very unpleasant parts. And sometimes those, uh, as the time goes by, as the years go by, months go by, those uh, unpleasant parts start to annoy you more and more and more. You begin to ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I foregoing all the things that I want to make someone else happy who is not making me happy in return? Putting her first, putting her on a pedestal, putting her wants and needs first is a recipe for disaster. If you take one thing away from this video, I tell you, make yourself happy first. Put yourself first. Make sure that the things that you want that the things that you need to be happy and fulfilled are there first. And then you can have a, a hope of making someone else happy. Don't live your life trying to make someone else happy. That never works. That actually works uh, at, against you. All the best, uh, gentlemen. Uh, signing out again, still in the Buenos Aires, Argentina. Till the next video.